Hello, Kylie here again on day five of our five day thyroid testing course. Uh, so we've made it to physical testing. Uh, we've covered blood tests, salivary hormone test, hair tissue, mineral analysis testing, urine testing, and now the physical testing. So the physical testing is something that you can do um, mostly at home or with your practitioner. Okay, so there's a few basics here. Now, obviously, your weight and body measurements, you need to keep track of them. Don't get overzealous about them, particularly your weight. Don't make the scale how you start your day. Um, you know, if you're doing all your blood tests and you're uh, getting everything at, at the beginning so that you've got a starting point for everything, sure, step on the scales, get your weight, record it leave it alone okay if you're one of those people that have that battle with your with the weight um, don't start your day with that number you're not a number on the scales okay so uh, body measurements is another good one you know measure your basics measure your waist measure your hips your thighs um, I'll, I'll skip down a couple because I've added there your neck measurement. It's really important particularly if you're susceptible to goiters um, to measure your neck from year to year. Um, so with all your other testing that you do, whack in a neck measurement. Uh, you might find it increasing slightly as the years go by or suddenly it increased by five centimetres in one year and it's like, ah, that's a that's a danger sign, you know. Um, so it's it's just a simple, easy, easy to do thing that you can add to your list of, um, you know, starting points, okay. So basal body temperature. This is something you can easily do at home. You can find the full instructions on my website, kylywolfig.com, under the resources section. So just print out the PDF there uh, and it talks you through it. But basically, it, it was designed by Dr. Broder Barnes back in the 1940s, I think it was, or 50s. Uh, and he was sort of the first physician that really took a lot of notice of thyroid disease and looked into it a lot. Uh, and he found that the TSH just wasn't adequate for um, finding out what was happening in the with the thyroid. So he found the best way to figure it out was by everybody um, taking their temperature first thing in the morning. And so all that you do is you keep your thermometer beside your bed and first thing you do when you wake up in the morning before you get out of bed, before you cuddle your partner, anything like that, um, is you whack the thermometer in your mouth or under your arm or whichever way you want to do it um, and take your temperature. And there's, you know, certain levels of temperature that if we're above it or below it, we're likely to, more likely to be hypothyroid or hyperthyroid. Um, so you would just do this for four or five days running. If you have, if you get, have a period, then do it um, in, say, the first part of your cycle. So from day two of your period to about day six, do it in that time frame um, because as you know your temperature should naturally rise in the second half of your cycle once you ovulate so that wouldn't give really an accurate reading of what your temperature is so you want the temperature before um, before that happens um, so uh, yeah all the all the instructions are on my website and this is a really good indicator of whether or not you are actually running too low or too high in your thyroid meds okay a zinc tally test. Uh, now this you can get through naturopaths, uh, herbalists, nutritionists and so on uh, and it's literally a drink and um, it takes two seconds and um, so if you've got a child or something that you suspect may be low in zinc or yourself and you don't want to do blood tests, hair tests, all that kind of thing, this is a really simple little test of you swill 10 mils around in your mouth for 10 seconds uh, and then depending on how it tasted to you, how it felt in your mouth. Uh, when you describe it, the practitioner will be able to tell you how badly you need zinc or not. So it's a great little test because um, zinc is so important. Uh, and the last one that I've got here is the iodine skin patch test, which I mentioned yesterday. Now, this one uh, literally is just painting on a bit of iodine onto your skin and then watching to see how long it takes for your skin to soak it up. So the longer it takes to soak it up, the less you need it. 
Uh, so, you know, the idea is that you have enough of it and so your body just takes it in slowly. If that iodine patch on your skin disappears in an hour, it is sucking the life out of that iodine. It needs more. So uh, this is a, a test that um, a lot of naturopaths do. Uh, it's easy to do. You'll probably be able, able to find the iodine that you need in a chemist if you want to test it for yourself at home. Um, but yeah, that's just another way of finding out what you need. So they're just a few simple little physical tests that you can do and that should be added to all your other lists. Now, when you do your testing every year, I have, I have a spreadsheet that has on it all my tests. It includes, uh, I have to have a colonoscopy um, every three years due to colon cancer in the family. Um, so that gets added to my list. Uh, mammograms, I'm not of that age yet that I need mammograms, but that will be added to my list. Um, so anything like that that you also have if you have a spreadsheet of it I have mine over five years so I can always um, look at it and go oh okay look you know last year I was doing really well here but this year not not so good and the year before that I was really good as well so what happened last year it's a really good way to be able to just easily track what's going on in your body and if you've got everything on the spreadsheet you can especially with your colonoscopies and things like that that are every few years you can easily look at it and go, oh, when was the last one that I had? When am I due for the next one? Okay, here. So it's um, just a really organized way to keep all your tests and stop it from being too overwhelming and, oh, my goodness, I've got all these different tests I've got to do. Um, so if you have them all written down and then you tackle them all once a year at a certain pick a month, pick a day, the 1st of September every year, I'm going to get all my tests taken care of. And then it's done and dusted. It's, uh, it's a very responsible thing to do when you have got ill health uh, and it's certainly a way um, to get on top of things. So I hope these last five days have been of help to you. Uh, if they have, come on over to KylieWolfie.com and um, let me know that they've helped you. If there's anything else that you want to know, come to the Facebook page, Thyroid School, let me know what else you want to know and I will do my best to get you the information in the most simple manner that I can. Um, and uh, that's it. So have a great day and I'll see you on the website. Bye.